Hi, I'm Sushwan Reddy. This is our team, Sri Charan, Mani Khan, and Charan. We are pursuing a master's in mechatronics at Michigan Tech University. We have worked on a project for our advanced PLC course. Our aim is to develop a SCADA system for this mechatronics assembly station controlled by a PLC. We are using a factory top view studio software for controlling the PLC. I'll be explaining about the components in this mechatronics assembly station. We'll start with the PLC. This is the Allen Bradley PLC that is used to operate the station and we have different push buttons, start, stop, push button, the selector switch that is used to place the station in manual and auto modes. We have the output power push button, the emergency stop and the on off switch. Here we have the spool insertion station with two slots where the spools are placed and we also have an inductive sensor at the bottom that is used to sense if the spools are present in the slots. Here we have the screw insertion station and the screws are actually placed inside the vinyl tube over here and the pneumatic air is used to push the screws through the vinyl tube to the outlet where we have a cylinder setup where these two cylinders are used to hold the position, hold the screw in position and the cylinder behind it is used to stop the screw, second screw in line. We also have an inductive sensor here that is used to sense the screws through the vinyl tube and here we have the part that we are using for the assembly and this cylinder is used to hold the part in place and we also have a magnetic read sensor on the cylinder that is used to get the position of the cylinder if it is retracted or extended and once the screwing insertion and the spool insertion is completed we also have a part transport system that is used to transfer the part from station 1 to station 2 where the screwing operation is done and the screwing operation is performed by this DC motor and this part is also held in place using another cylinder over here and we have a spring uh, that is used to complete the assembly and this screw is pushed using another cylinder which also has a magnetic read sensor. Uh, we are using two softwares for this project. One is RS Logics 5000 and Factory Top View Studio. So initially RS Logic software uh, is used to uh, download this ladder logic into the PLC. Next open the factory top view studio software. You can see different input and output objects placed on the display. There are also a set of controls. This message indicates the part position either at station 1 or at station 2. This indicates the number of parts processed and this indicates the type of operation being performed. Communication has to be set up in order to assign the RS logics tags. Here the file is loaded into the communication setup. Then click on add device shortcut and then highlight the controller of the PLC and then click apply. Once this is done click on copy from design to runtime and then click ok. Now click create runtime application. Once this is done, the HMI panel is ready for testing. I'll be explaining about the working process of the assembly station. Uh, here we'll be using this laptop as an HMI panel. Uh, here we have two different apps. One is process control and other is an alarm. So let me enter into the process control. Uh, here we have a different local display messages and a different set of controls over here. So you can see that the selector switch is placed in the manual mode which means that I have to press the start button for each step of the process. Uh, you can see that there is a message saying that we need to insert a part at the station 1. So we will be doing the same. I will be pressing uh, the start button here. So here the code is getting inserted. Next the screw is inserted. Later the part will be transported to the other station too and then here the screwing operation will be done. We can see that the assembly is completed as there is a local display message over here. Now we will be moving the selector switch to the auto mode. 